All right, so we successfully finished um, our financial statements, right? We panned out everything perfectly even. So now the, the next two steps here, so step nine is to close out our temporary accounts. Now, if you remember, how do we close out our temporary accounts? If you remember where normally when we have uh, um, our expenses and our revenues, how we journalize them is we normally journalize them. For example, my sales is a, is a revenue. I normally would credit my sales, right? Mm -hmm. And I would debit my expenses. Now, how do I close out my accounts? I close them out by zeroing them out. So therefore, if I have a current credit balance in my income or my revenues, I, can, I have to reverse that to make them all zero, okay? So that's what the temporary accounts are is where you're going to be closing out your revenues and we're going to be introducing to the income summary, which is going to be um, where you collect your money. And then once we've done that, then you have the choice to either reinvest into your company or pocket that profit, which in this case, we've already, dis we've already discussed that we're going to uh, reinvest into the company. So you're going to close out your income summary to your equity. So let's go ahead and take a look at our first temporary account here. So we're going to close out all of our revenues first. So what I'm going to do is um, here on my uh, journal, so I'm on page 25 of my journal, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my journal and my ledger side by side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to close out one, each account one at a time. So starting with my revenues, right, I'm going to close out every single sale. So let's see, for the very first one here, right, and we're going to close it out to my income summary. So if you remember, right, because I have a credit balance, I need to debit all of my revenues. So start from the very first one here, right, sales doesn't have anything in there, but my first one I have here that I'm going to close out is going to be my sales um, for the regular coffee, okay? And that's account right here. You have your account numbers at the top as well. And I'm going to debit this amount for, let's see how much. We're going to debit this. For $1,900 Hold on, let me see if I can shrink my tables a bit so I can um so I can see everything a little better. Okay. So my sales for the regular coffee here is for $1,394.96. So for that exact amount, I'm going to debit one three nine four nine six. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to also simultaneously go ahead and update my ledger at the same time, so I can save some time instead of going through every single account and then having to go back and zero them out all again. Because in this case, I'm I need to use my ledger to tell me how much my account balance is. And then, so in this case, I'm just going to save some extra time to go ahead and just close them out at the same time. So in this case, I'm going to close my books. We're on journal number page 25 here. And I'm going to close it out with a debit of $1,394.96. Okay? And that should give you your balance to be zero. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go use my ledger to find out my account balance, journalize it, and then just close it out right away. Okay, mm -hmm. so that was my very first one. So the next one I hear I have is my sales for Supreme Coffee. Right, account number one. 
of 4100 and I currently have a credit balance of $1,436.40. Good. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and journalize that, and I'm going to close that out right now. So today's 30. We're going to close. For the 1436.40. And that should give me a zero balance. Okay. Next one here is my ceramic coffee mugs. Yes. Um, how do you know that the general journal is 25? I just checked it just now, right? Uh, I haven't started page 26 yet, so this is page 25 at the very top. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay. So the next one I have here is my ceramic coffee mugs. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, my ceramic coffee mugs right here. Okay. So I have sales ceramic coffee mugs. 1763 20, 91? 91, yes. 1763 91. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and close that out right now. Close. General journal. Page 25 for the 1763.91. Um, and that should give you zero. So let's see what the next account is. My sales medium regular coffee. Should be account number four zero three hundred. And that's for five fifty two twenty one seventy six. Fifty two twenty one seventy six. I'm gonna close that out right now. Close. General Journal, page 25, for 52.21.76. So that should give you an account balance of zero. Okay, make sure there are no typos in here, because then the account balances would be off. Okay. Next one I have here is my uh, large... Regular coffee. Sales. Large. Regular coffee. 6503.25. 6503 25. Okay. So I'm going to close. My books close general journal page 25 for the 6503.25, and that should give me my account balance to be zero. Okay, so next we have my medium supreme coffees. Okay. For six six five five seven seven.
25-665577, and that should give you your account balance to be zero. Zero. Okay. Next is going to be my large Supreme coffees. Four seventy five twenty four forty four. Yeah. So in this case, we're gonna um we're gonna close. Okay. For seven five two four forty four. And that should give me my account balance to zero. Okay? Seven, five, two, four, four, four. Okay? Next I have is a sales returns and allowances. This currently has a debit balance, so I need to credit that account. But I'm going to hold off first because I need to do all my debits first, right? So in this right. case, I'm going to hold off to sales returns and allowances. I have my sales discount. Some delivery income. So delivery income, it needs to be credited. Okay, delivery income, 48000 for a total of $300, right? So today's the 30th. We're closing this out. For the twenty fifth, twenty five for three hundred dollars, so your total balance is zero. Oops. Okay. And then interest income, which you don't have any, so you can backtrack and do your sales returns and allowances. So in this case. I have a debit balance for my sales returns and allowances. So, therefore, I need to credit it. Credit it, yes. Yeah, so, sales returns and allowances. Okay. Which is account number 45000. And you're going to credit this account for. Nineteen ninety six. So that should give you your credit. Nineteen ninety six should give you a zero balance. Last but not least, we have my sales discount that I also need to credit. Uh, account number 46,000. Okay, and I need to credit for $1,970. Nine four, so nineteen hundred seventy nine cents. So I'm gonna close that out right now. Close. For nineteen hundred and seventy nine cents. So therefore, that should give me an account balance to zero. Okay. And then last but not least, since I closed out all of my revenues, where which account am I closing them out to? I'm going to close out all of the revenues out to my income summary. Okay, which is an equity account. We're finally using the income summary. Okay, so equity. So my income summary is account number 399999. Okay, 
and I now need to calculate what my grand total amount I'm going to put into my income summary. So I need to calculate all of my sales, subtract all my returns and my discounts, right? To find out what amount I'm going to put in my income summary. Okay, so my total sales is $30,849 at 49 cents. So 3,849 cents. And I'm going to put in here 3,849 cents. Subtract 1996. Subtract 1,979 cents. And I should be accrediting my income summary for $28,879.74. Okay, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now, because an income summary is a equity account, right? It right. should have a normal credit balance, right? Right. So in this case, I'm going to put here for my notes is close, close, out all revenues general journal page 25 once again and we credit my account for 28 eight seven nine and 74 cents okay two eight eight seven nine seventy four okay and that should give me a credit balance. Okay? <clears throat> All right. So I'm going to tell you right now, this section right here down below is definitely not enough to close out all of your expenses. So I'm actually going to start on the next page. Okay, so I'm going to make a note here, close out revenues to income summary. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, because that's a huge gap right there, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I draw a line there so no one puts anything else in there. Because that's, that's a lot of space for someone to put a transaction in there. So that means when I start closing out my expenses, right, I'm going to go ahead and close them out um, to journal 26. To journal 26, yes. Now, can you do your cost of goods sold first and then your uh, operating expenses? Absolutely. If you want to close out your cost of goods sold first and then do your operating expenses, go for it. That means you can save yourself some journal space. But in this case, I like to go ahead and just close them all out at once. Okay? Because I'm already going to close them out anyway, so it makes sense mm -hmm. to just close them all out at once. Okay? So, how do I close out my... Expenses, I'm going to be needing to credit all of my expenses because they all have debit balances, right? Right. So therefore, I'm going to be debiting my income summary. Which will be an equal sum, right? Because I need to figure out how many total expenses I have. Okay, so I'm going to start with the first section here, which is the cost of goods sold. So very top of the page here, we got cost of goods sold for regular coffee, right? Account number 5050. 
Okay, so in this case, I need to credit my cost of goods sold for the regular coffee. So COGS, regular coffee. Which gave me a credit total here of one thousand four hundred and six oh three. Right. Fourteen oh six oh three. So I'm going to credit this to close out my accounts. I'm on page twenty six now for 14.0603, and that should zero out my balance. Okay. Next, I have here's the cost of goods sold for my Supreme Coffee. Okay. For a total of fourteen eighty six sixty one. Fourteen eight six six one. Okay. And I am going to close that out right now. On the twenty sixth journal page here, credit for fourteen eight six six one. And that should give you a zero balance. 148661. Next, we have here is the cost of goods sold for the ceramic coffee mugs. For a total of eleven eighty two forty three. For eleven eighty two forty three. And that should give you a zero balance. Okay, that would be 11.82.43. Okay. Next I have is the cost of materials. Starting with the first one, cost of materials for the medium cups. So cost of materials, medium cups. Okay. Two eighty seven ten. Yep, two eighty seven ten. So I'm going to credit this account. For two Eighty-seven ten, which will give you your account balance to zero. Okay. Next one I have is the cost of materials for the large cups. Fifty one two fifty. Fifty one two fifty for the total amount of three five one six eight. Three five one six eight. And I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. Or three five one six eight, and that should give you your account balance to zero.
Next one we have here is cost of materials for sugar. Right, account number 51300 for a total of $43.20. And I'm going to close this out. For $43.20, and that should give you your account balance to zero. Last on my cost of goods sold section here, we have cost of materials for the creamer. Account number 51350 for a total amount of $1,000. Five nine two six. Okay. Three five nine two six, which should give you your account balance to zero. Okay. So that whole section was the cost of goods sold section. So now we can go dive into closing all of our operating expenses, okay? Starting from the very top, we have advertising expense. Four. 185. So if I credit my account for 185, that should leave me with a zero balance. Okay. Next one we have here is my bank fees. Okay, account number 6100 for a total of $100. Uh, I'm starting by closing this out for a credit of $100. So that should give you your account balance zero. Okay. Next we have here is business expense. $6,200 for the amount of $1,282.78. Twenty six for one thousand two eight seventy eight. All right, that should give you your account balance to zero. Okay. Next, we have this freight expense, which already has a zero balance on there, so we're good to go to skip over that. Okay. Next we have is insurance expense. Okay, for account number 6400, for a total amount of 300, okay. go ahead. Three ninety five eighty three. Three ninety five eighty three. And I'm gonna credit that. Okay. 
One more type than this. Okay. The re ninety five eighty three, and that should give you your account balance of zero. Okay. Next we have is interest expense. Account number sixty four fifty for a total of one oh five forty. One oh five forty, so that should give you your account balance of zero. Okay, Let's see what's next. Uh, labor expense. We have here your subcontractor labor expense, subcontractor expense. Count number sixty five ten for a total of eighteen ninety. which should give you your account balance of zero, okay? Next you have here is temporary labor expense. Which is account number 6520 for a total of $360. which should give you your account balance, excuse me, to zero. Next we have here is office supplies expense. Wait, sorry, Lic license and permit expense? Yes. Account number 6600 for a total of $375. So I'm going to close out $375 on the credit side to get your account balance to zero. Okay. Next I have is loss on disposal of assets. Account number 6700 for a total of Oh, not 20,000, just 2,000. <laughs> Close. Okay. To be zero. Okay. Almost done here. We got, now we have our office supplies expense.
for account number 6750 for a total of $70. Okay, so you should close this out on the 26th journal for $70 to give you your total account balance to be zero. Okay. Then we have our payroll expenses, right? Which our first one we have here is salaries and wages expense. Salaries and wages expense, account number 6810, for a total of Three thousand five fifty should give you an account balance of zero. Okay. Next is as our commissions expense. Okay, for sixty eight twenty. For a total of $1,647.75. For one one six four seven seventy five should give you your account balance of zero. Okay, so sixteen forty seven seventy five. Okay. Next we have here is payroll tax expenses. Okay, which is account number 6830 for a total of $414.23. $414.23. Close. General Journal page 26 for 414.23. And that should give you a total of zero. Okay. Purchase expenses next, which is an account balance of zero. So we can skip over that. Purchase returns and allowances, which is account balance zero. So I can skip that. Purchase discount is also zero. So I can skip that. I got rent expense. For fifth for account number sixty two thousand for fifteen hundred dollars. Okay. And then I have to close it out. The fifteen hundred dollars credit here for zero dollars. OK, 
Okay. Then I have travel expenses. Account number 63,000 for a total of 27107. 27107. Okay, and then I'm going to close this out. Or 27107. And that should give you your account balance to zero. Okay, 27107. Next here is utilities expense. Nothing there. Then I have some bad debt expense. But you know what I noticed about the cafe? Hmm. Okay. They haven't paid the utility bills <laughs> at all. Well, in this case, you have to wait till the end of the month, right, for them to, yeah. to, to send you a bill. And usually they don't send you the bill until the first of the next month, right? Yeah, okay. Right. So in this case, uh, since we're only doing the month of June... Um, uh -huh. that's something that we are going to have to do because that's just how rent and utilities work is you don't get, you don't pay until the following month right. for all the expenses that you've done. So in this case, if we're still on June 30th, we're still turning the lights on. So oh, yeah. they still have to calculate for that day too. Okay. Um, so for bad debt expense. Seventy-six dollars and sixty cents. We're going to close this account. Almost done, guys. For seventy-six sixty, which should give you your account balance of zero. Then we have our depreciation expense. For a total of six, or sorry, for account sixty six thousand for a total of six hundred and fifty five dollars and eight cents. Right, which should give you a zero balance. And then the very, 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 very last account in Coffee Cafe for your expenses is going to be your amortization expense. Okay, which is account number 65500, which is for the $11.67. Okay, and I'm going to close this last account out. For $11.67. So that should give you your account balance of zero. Okay. So there you go. You zeroed out all of your um, expenses. So last but not least, we need to plug it into my income summary, right? All right. But I need to tally up all of my expenses. And I'm also going to put here, close out 
all expenses to income summary. Okay, so in this case, I got a lot of accounts I need to calculate here. Okay. Do you need time to look at the screen? Or... You got to tally up all the expenses? Yes, but in this case, I'll go ahead and save you some time here. All right. All right, so I'm going to go equal sum. And I'm going to click, drag, and highlight all of these numbers. Okay. And I get a total expenses to be of that an invalid number <laughs> let me redo that s u m okay and i get a total expenses to be $20,006.72. Okay. okay, so let's plug that in. Okay, close out all expenses. For a debit balance of $20. Zero zero six and seventy two cents. Okay, so if you know that the normal balance is, you're always going to add your credits, but to minus out your debits, you should get a total of eight eight seven three zero oh, two. And where do we see that number? In our uh. Mm. You solve for it in your income net, statement. Uh, uh, net income. Yep, your net income is 887302. Mm -hmm. So that means, right, um, the calculations here was done correctly, right? We closed out all of our expenses for $28,579.74. Um, yeah. In this case, I didn't, I tallied up my operating expenses, but not my. Um, Plus my including this, so it gave me a total of twenty thousand six dollars there, right? To mm -hmm. give me my ending a balance in my income summary to be eight thousand eight hundred seventy three dollars and two cents. Okay, so that means right. Now that I got that right there, I need to do, I need to close out my income summary to my equity. Now, how do you close out your income summary? How am I going to close out my income summary? What is my current balance in my income summary? It is $8,873.02. On the debit so, or credit side? It's on the credit side, but you're going to debit it. Yes, that's how we zero out our accounts, right? Or close out our accounts. So in this case, I'm going to debit my income summary. Oh, no, 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 no. For a total of eight eight seven three zero two, okay. And then where am I closing it out to? Since I'm reinvesting this money into my equity, this money is going to be put into owner's uh, equity. Owner's equity. Yeah. Okay. So owners. Equity, okay, which is account number 30,000, and you're going to credit owner's equity for $8,873.02. Now, if I'm crediting my owner's equity, 
What does that tell me? Am I increasing or decreasing? Increasing. You're going to increase your equity, right? So in this case, let me see. I'm going to put my note here. Close out income summary to equity. Okay. So there you go. I'm going to go ahead and close out my income summary. for debit of um, 887302. So therefore, that's going to give me a zero balance here. And I'm going to take that amount and I'm going to plug it into my income, into my equity. Okay, so I'm going to put here out, right here, income summary. And I'm going to credit it for $8,873.02. Okay. So since it's going to increase my equity, right, it's going to bring it to the value of $38,873. And oops, I made a typo here. It's two cents. 887302. Okay. There you go. There is your 838-87302. Now, the last thing that we have to also do here is, because right now is my current balance in my equity 38000 Does that say in my statement of owner's equity? No. No. It says I'm at $35,873.02. So therefore, I need to close out one more account. And that is to close the out withdrawal. your withdrawals, right? So in this case, I currently have a debit balance in my withdrawals. So what's that going to do for me? That means I need to? Credit. You need to credit your owner's withdrawal. Okay, which is your 32,000 here. Account for how much? $3,000. $3, so if that is going to be $3,000, where am I taking it out from? Equity. Mm -hmm. Your owner's equity. That means you're going to be debiting your owner's equity, which represents you're going to decrease your owner's equity, right? So therefore, we're going to close 26 for $3,000, which will give you your account balance to zero. So therefore, you're going to debit owner. For for three thousand dollars, so that will decrease your account to thirty five thousand eight hundred seventy three dollars and two cents, and now that finally matches your income state. Or sorry, not income state. Your um equity statement of owner's equity, and it matches your balance sheet, right? Because you right. put in your balance sheet that you have equity of $35,873.02. So therefore, you are completely done here. Make sure you put your little note here to close owners, draw out to equity. And conclude this with a bar that tells you that you have successfully closed out your books. 
But where, where is my mouse? Here it is. It's invisible to me. I can't move very well. Mm-hmm. Here we go. I'm going to fill this in with uh, this with white writing and say right here that I successfully closed the books. Okay. Save your journal. Because now we have one last thing to do. So now that we closed out all of our accounts, our all of our numbers match our financial forms, the last thing we have to do is a post-closing trial balance. Now what I like to do is to save extra, extra time is I will delete this post-closing trial balance. Okay? Mm-hmm. I will go to my balance sheet. And I will make a copy of my close post of that, right? So move or make a copy. I'm going to click on copy here. And I want it all the way down below here. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So here's your copy of your balance sheet here. I'm going to rename it to post to post closing trial balance. Okay. I'm going to rename the sheet to say post-closing trial balance. Okay, ending on, ooh, ending on June 30th. Okay, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add debit at the top here. I'm going to add credit at the top of here. I'm going to eliminate my total assets row here. Okay. I'm going to eliminate my total liabilities. row I'm also going to delete my total liabilities and equity row here and I'm going to re-put my formula together right to equal Mm -hmm. all of my debits here And then I'm going to copy and paste that formula across to get my credit here. And I'm going to enter in my formula to make sure this is zero. That way it will save me some time because I have the equity already put in here. I got all my assets. I have all my liabilities here. And that's how I complete my post-closing trial balance. Okay, I just do formatting the balance sheet and... That concludes Coffee Cafe. We are completely done. Any questions in regards to the last section, which is closing out the books? No. All right. Any final conclusions to Coffee Cafe?